How's it going, guys? So very easy slash pass little question for internal medicine for 2CK. Some of you will instantaneously know the answer, and that's fine. Not every question I do is supposed to be overly nitpicky or fancy. It's about cutting to the fucking chase. What's going to increase your score, right? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the fucking clip. So 43-year-old dude with alcoholism. He has an abdominal fluid wave and scleral ictoris. Reflexes are brisk. Serum calcium is low at 7.8 milligrams per deciliter. Normal range is 8.4 to 10.2. IV calcium chloride is administered. Two hours later, his calcium remains low at 8.0 milligrams per deciliter. Questions asking for the most appropriate next step in management. It should be noted that his reflexes are brisk simply due to hypocalcemia. He's got an abdominal fluid. He's got ascites and scler scleral ictoris. He probably has cirrhosis. Uh, the ascites can be due to increased hydrostatic pressure in the portal vein from the cirrhotic liver in combination with decreased vascular oncotic pressure from the decreased albumin production from the failed liver. So let's just hop in the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Uh, ultrasonography, wrong fucking answer. No reason to suspect uh, that this guy would have cholelithiasis. Okay, so I mean, fat 40s female fertile are a classic demographic, but if this guy had colicky pain after meals, okay, then we'd, we'd suspect uh, cholesterol stones maybe. But uh, it should also be noted that patients who have EG, hereditary spherocytosis, who get increased RBC turnover, they also have increased propensity to develop uh, stones, pigment stones in that regard, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, MRCP, also wrong answer. I have never seen this as a correct answer on any NBME material. Okay, if you encounter a question where this is correct, I'm not talking about QBank horseshit. Okay, I'm talking about NBME slash clinical mastery series material where MRCP is the correct answer. I've yet to see it. Okay, in theory, I mean, MRCP can be used to visualize the bile ducts, look for cholelithiasis, stones, cholelithiasis cysts, can be used to visualize cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct cancer. Never seen it as a correct answer. ERCP is frequently a correct answer, which we do for cholelithiasis, as well as uh, for pancreatic pseudocysts, we drain them internally via ERCP. That's a frequent answer on 2CK. Choice C, CT of the abdomen, wrong answer. This would be for uh, if we wanted to visualize suspected liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, we can do this for diverticulitis. Patients who have severe pancreatitis and we want to visualize fluid collections, CT of the abdomen can be done. Not the answer in this case. Choice B, check serum magnesium is the correct answer. Now, you need to know, as I said, this is very factoidy, very easy, but you need to know that hypomagnesemia can cause hypocalcemia and hypokalemia, refractory, that's non responsive, to supplementation. Okay? alcoholics have the greatest risk of hypomagnesemia. And there's no fancy mechanism, nothing about malabsorption, nothing like that. It's just dietary deficiency. They fill up on alcohol. Same way they get B vitamin deficiencies, right? I mean, alcohol, ethanol is seven kilocalories per gram. So they fill up on alcohol, they have dietary deficiency, okay? Hypomagnesemia. Basal magnesium levels are required for sufficient, for adequate uh, PTH release from the parathyroid glands, something about uh, maintaining G protein activity. So if you have decreased magnesium, decreased PTH release, and that can cause a hypocalcemia. Also, basal magnesium is required to prevent the kidney from secreting too much potassium into the urine. Okay, so low magnesium, kidney wastes too much potassium. Increased kaleuresis means ur micturation, urination of potassium, fancy word there. So check serum magnesium is high yield uh, for patients who, alcoholics, who have low calcium or low potassium refractory supplementation. Choice, choice A, check serum amylase and lipase, wrong fucking answer. I mean, if we suspected pancreatitis, uh, which we don't, there's nothing about abdominal pain here, right? I mean, low calcium is high yield in the setting of severe pancreatitis, okay? You get uh, enzymatic fat necrosis and can chelate calcium saponification. Uh, so low calcium is one of the poor prognostic markers uh, as per the Ranson criteria, 48 hours after admission. So low calcium, high glucose, poor prognostic markers slash indicators for pancreatitis. But uh, we don't suspect pancreatitis here. Wrong fucking answer. 
So you know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.